I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 272. Today we're going to be stitching using my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching. I'll start out by using my blue Mark Be Gone marker and a rotary type ruler. I'm going to use those and mark through the center of my block a T and then I'll also mark an X through the center of my block. Now I'm ready to begin stitching. I'll begin stitching on the left hand side of my block. Now you're going to see I didn't do a lot of marking here and I'm going to eyeball a lot of what I quilt. If you don't want to eyeball it, we do have a PDF available on our website that's available and you can draw these lines right onto your block. So what I do is start out by stitching from that outside. I'll stitch in about an inch and then from there on both sides of that stitch line, I'm going to stitch an angular line stitching out on my line and then back on that same stitch line. I'm going to repeat this process. So on each of the four center lines, I'm only going to add one of those outside. I'm going to call it like a Y. On the angular lines, I'm going to add two of those. The other thing I want you to notice here is on those top bottom and the sides, not the angular lines, I'm going to stitch all the way to the outside edge of the block, whereas the angular lines, I'm going to stop my straight stitching line about one inch from that outside corner. I just think it creates a little bit more interest if you adjust the lengths of these snowflake lines. I'll continue stitching in that same manner, stitching out to the outside of the block along the marked line then traveling back along that stitch line. So there definitely is quite a bit of overstitching in this block. Generally, I would quilt this design using a matching thread color and even with a really nice fine thread like I'm using here, the so fine thread, it would blend really beautifully. I'll repeat that process all the way around the quilt block on all of those marked lines and then finish this design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block and misting away those marked lines. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.